what's up you guys it's Allison welcome back to my channel so today I thought it would be fun to do a video on five pets that I would really like to have in the future I've seen a lot of these on YouTube and I think they're really fun and kind of just give you some insight into um, kind of like a pet keepers mind and other things that they're interested in besides just the pets that they have so today I'm going to be talking about that before I get too far into this video if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload if you do enjoy this video I make new pet related videos every Friday a lot of them having to do with these guys behind me so I have six guinea pigs and then two bunnies that you can see right there behind me but yeah subscribe if you would like and let's go ahead and talk about the five pets that I would really like to own one day so first up this is the first one's gonna be kind of like a two part sort of ish um, thing you'll see what I mean so um, I would really like to own a chameleon one day I think they're really cool I like that they have little mitten hands um, I just think they're really pretty and I think their care is really interesting. I've done, honestly, I've watched a ton of videos, done a lot of research on chameleons, even though I'm not planning on getting one anytime soon because I just think they're really, really interesting animals. That being said, um, I have no experience with reptiles whatsoever, so I would never jump into getting a chameleon right off the bat because they are very advanced reptiles. They need specific humidity, all of that stuff. So I wouldn't want to, you know, jump into reptile keeping with such an advanced animal. So this is kind of the two part that I was talking about. Um, I would really like to own a crested gecko. And I would like to get one of those more in the near future. Um, it's not going to be like in the next couple months or anything like that. But I would like to get a crested gecko as my first reptile to kind of ease me in um, and kind of get used to, you know, reptile keeping before. I, I mean, there honestly would probably be other stepping stones between there, between um, crested gecko and chameleon. But that is what my thinking is at the moment. I have done a lot of research on crested geckos and I would really, really like to get one of those. So that is kind of the first and second um, pet on this list. So I'm gonna count those as two because I would really like to have a crested gecko and I really would like to have a chameleon one day. Next up on this list is, again, kind of not just like one animal, but um, I would really like to have a reef tank. Um, I love fish. I think a fish was my first pet. Um, I had beta fish throughout the years. I have always like just really liked fish. I love going to the aquarium, but I never was really in the situation that I could have, you know, a, a nice big fish tank. So I would really at some point like to set up a really big saltwater fish tank. Again, I have no experience with saltwater tanks at all, but so I would definitely, you know, start with something small to get used to it, not go, you know, full out into a huge reef tank or anything like that. But um, I would like to have some type of reef tank one day. I actually am planning on here in the near future doing a aquarium setup because I just really would like to have some fish again. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna be, but here's a little, you know, sneak peek a little bit of there is gonna be some aquarium videos coming sometime soon-ish. I'm not gonna say like, again, not in the next couple of months, but soon-ish. So again, not really a specific animal, but I would really, really like to have a nice, big, beautiful reef tank one day. There is a bunny under my camera right now and <laughs> he is chewing on the tripod. So if the camera is shaking, that would be the reason why. Mr. Andy, what are you doing? His hay rack is right behind my tripod. So he is very curious on why there's something in his way to his food. All right, number four on this list is a Pac-Man frog. Um, I only recently, well, I say recently, but in like the last year or so, um, even heard of Pac-Man frogs as pets. It, that is a thing that people keep. Um, but the couple channels that I've seen that have them that talk about their care, they just look like 
fun little things like they don't do anything you just feed them and they dig a hole like I just think they're funny um, I think they're little and fat and cute and I think it would be interesting my whole thing with having animals is I like learning about their care and you know their diets and their housing and all that stuff so I just think it would be a fun I don't want to say easy because you know all animals are a commitment but kind of more of like a low stress animal than you know guinea pigs that need extensive spot cleaning every day something like that pac-man frogs don't have quite the same day-to-day -day needs i guess i should say but i just think they're funny i think they are kind of cute looking and um they come in pretty i mean most you can get yellow ones like they they're pretty colors and that's a stupid reason to get a pet don't get a pet because it's a pretty color but I just think they're funny. I like watching other people's channels that have them. I just think they're really funny, interesting little animals and I would really like to learn more about them and possibly get one one day. And sorry that um, apparently all of the guinea pigs are having an argument right now and they are all squeaking in the background of my video. What are you guys doing? Now they're going to settle down because I pointed it out. Finally, the fifth animal on this list is a hamster. So I have had several hamsters in the past. I think they're great, fun little pets. They also have a lot of interesting care and um, different things that they like. Every hamster has its own personality on what it likes and doesn't like. And that is something I would like to have a hamster not in like the near future but one day i'd like to have one i think their care is also often overlooked the same as guinea pigs and rabbits so that is something that i like to research and stay up on just because i know like for example the tiny tails cages and how bad for hamsters they are um that is just something that's talked about a lot and i do like to stay up on stuff like that but i just I really like hamsters. I think they're really interesting. I live vicariously through other channels that have hamsters because it's just, I mean, you can see this room right now. There's nowhere that we could put a hamster cage that would be big enough for a hamster, but that is a pet that I would like to have in the future. Like I said, I've had them in the past and I think they're great little pets. And now that I know so much more about them, I think I would really enjoy setting up a habitat and learning what the hamster liked and all of those different things. So the final and fifth, the fifth and final animal on this list is a hamster. So to recap all of those, I said chameleon, crested gecko, Pac-Man frog. Oh my gosh, I already forgot what the heck I said. <laughs> Chameleon, crested gecko, reef tank, Pac-Man frog, and hamster. So those are all very different um, kind of animals. I know a chameleon and a crested gecko are both reptiles, but they also have very different care. They're very different animals. So those are the five animals that I would really like to own one day. Again, none of these are things that are coming anytime soon, but like I mentioned, there may be an aquarium setup coming soon, but you guys will have to wait and see what's coming with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and getting to hear a little bit more about some animals that I would like to own in the future. Like I said, I think these videos are pretty interesting because they kind of give you a little bit of a glimpse into other animals that somebody might like. You might not have known that I really like fish or that I would like to own a reptile. So I hope you enjoyed getting to hear a little bit more about that. I will put any relevant links down in the description box and up in the cards will be some other videos if you want to keep looking at some pet things. So. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.